if you could uh, like this video or subscribe to my channel or leave a comment i'd appreciate it very much thank you very much also um if you press the little bell uh, button you can get notifications when i put the video up but i'm trying to do them every sunday now and uh, i've stuck to it so far so but you never know anyway um thank you for watching it what we've been up to is uh, making um not sure what you call them uh, either trusses or a-frames you know the uh, roof parts uh, for a shed then out of rsk so these uh, angle irons are for the wood for holding the sheets on so we've been at it now uh, welding these now so what we've done is we welded these angle irons on first up the sides there we didn't weld there but there's a reason so what we've done is we've we, we've got them in three barrels now one in the middle one either side of the shed it's dirt floors we're on so nothing's level then so what we what we've done now is we jacked all them up so we got to the middle uh that we're straight to each other but up to each other we then gone leveled them that way there's a tape measure we level that way then so we got them level that way level that way each of them and their same height so it means they're flat and straight then and we'll also use this to measure the angle so uh, both sides are equal to each other angle so these now are spot on so the reason for that now is not just get this straight and everything but and we weld the v's for reason as well but what we're gonna do now with this all spot on now we need to weld a bit more of it so it's solid we're gonna get the next ones we need to do so we need to make another three of uh, sets of these so we need two RSKs per uh, roof uh, truss then. So we've got another uh, three to join together then. Well, six RSKs. So what we'll do is just put them up against these, slot them down. So it'll be so this will work like a jig, you know, like a fixing tool. So we'll put them up against there and we'll build spot on the same then. But this is spot on, the next ones is spot on. We'll just pull them off, put the next ones on and so on. Only thing is the next ones, we had these quite flat to weld up there the next ones will be a bit at an angle but uh you, you gain some and lose some you'll gain what will be the exact same you can't do them once these will be on what people usually do is uh bolt trees together but this uh, shed now is only 20 foot span you know, from the corner to corner which is pretty small to us most sheds say 30 foot 40 foot 35 foot whatever middler will be the same size as this just one half so uh, this is quite small and it'll be manageable to do it if we just weld it solid also to make four of these you need eight plates with uh, eight sets of holes how many bolts six bolts per one so you can work that out it'll be quite a bit extra holes and extra bolts and extra plates to make so it's quite a bit easier just to weld them up all the way around then also this should be a bit stronger really because really when you bolt them it's only the bolt that holds them this will be a joint all the way around and uh, because we're welding them we're making the gusset uh, usually we you'd need to cut them in the middle so a plate will butt up but this now we just cut a couple angles off a piece of four inch um, flat bar and just weld them solid in place there so it'll be plenty strong so it's quite a bit more simple just welding them in place uh, but the suits here because it's uh, small enough then so uh, that's the plan with this trick you know for the uh, you know using them as a jig you know um, getting this flat and doing the next ones on top it's probably not a new thing but uh, it's new to us anyway so um, i need to get these done now uh, well weld this up a bit better a bit more i just tacked it while it was in place of us so we'll move and uh, we need to do uh, this a bit better so it's it's a bit stronger hold then do the next ones now and we can weld angles and paint them up and uh, get them out of shed has been quite a while in the making uh, for these then so quite nice to get them out uh, from under our feet so uh, the rest of them are there so these uh, this shed now will be going over existing walls so uh, we haven't welded any plates at the end, so at the end now is the angle in for the wood to carry the endo sheet and to carry the guttering. So it's a bit over so with the uh, 10 foot sheets will do then. So um, what they're going to do with this instead is they're going to drill 
four holes in the flange here. So the uh, leg will come up and the plate is on the, you know, the upright itself and the leg. So we'll board like that and we've got fat at angles and plates on them. So this now will actually overhang over a wall. So the legs will be inside the wall. So it's like a steel frame within the shed. So uh, it'll be much stronger against wind and all that. So uh, that's wh what's on then really, is uh, repairing an old shed. Uh, wind uh, lifted the sh uh, roof off it, so... Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll probably do a video updating you on uh, these then. So uh, I thank you for watching and uh, if you could uh, subscribe I'd appreciate it very much. If you leave a comment, I'll uh, any questions I'll uh, be happy to answer. Um, that's uh, goodbye from me for now then. Uh, thank you for watching.